Uh, Abby in Paddington, does Sir Keir Starmer agree with the use of the word genocide? In what sense? In, I imagine in Gaza, the, the Israel committing genocide in Gaza. Well, look, I've said repeatedly, Israel has to um, exercise its I, right I, to self-defence within to international law. I'm, I'm not going to sit in an LBC studio and pronounce that something is either genocide or not. And so I'll tell you, well, I'll tell you for why, Nick. Um, I so here, you can't decide about the guns, oh, the weapons, I'm sorry, you can't decide about genocide. Why? Nick, uh, uh, allow me, please. In the fall of Yugoslavia, um, all sorts of atrocities were committed. I represented Croatia in the International Court for three months, where we argued about genocide. We reviewed three months' worth of evidence. At the end of that, the court itself then had to make a decision based on all of the evidence. That's how it works. Not politicians right. sitting looking at um, clips, bits of footage here and there, and coming to uh, decisions based on that. Israel, every country has to be held properly to account in accordance with international law, but the body that does that is the international court that's set up in order to do so. And having, argue, I mean, having literally argued in court for three months over the meaning of genocide, the evidence of genocide, I'm very well aware of what it is. I'm also very, very well aware that you need to have the evidence in front of you before you come to a final decision. <laughs>